How to have a bright smile. Hey, Emily. Emily, I'm right here. Dr. Rabbit, is that you? <laughs> yes, it is. Wow. I see you're all ready for bed, but didn't you forget to do something very important tonight? I don't think so. Think really hard now. What are you supposed to do every night before you go to bed? Oh, I'm supposed to brush my teeth. That's right. Now let's go brush those teeth. <laughs> First, we'll need a toothbrush. Do you have a toothbrush, Emily? Yes, Dr. Rabbit. I have my toothbrush right here. Looks like it's time to replace your toothbrush. You can't get your teeth clean using a toothbrush that doesn't work well anymore. Hold on there! You should never use someone else's toothbrush. Your toothbrush is special and should be yours and yours alone. Oh! Here's a brand new one for you. Thanks, Dr. Rabbit! Great! Now what else do we need? We'll also need some toothpaste. That's right, fluoride toothpaste. Now, before I show you how to brush your teeth, I should explain why it's important to brush. When you eat and drink, food mixes with saliva and causes a plaque attack. This can lead to cavities. Oh no, I don't want any cavities. Don't worry, Emily. That's why we brush with fluoride toothpaste. Brushing your teeth with fluoride toothpaste removes plaque and helps keep your teeth and gums healthy. And fluoride strengthens your teeth to protect them from plaque attacks. You, that's a relief. It sure is. Now that you know why it's important to brush your teeth, we can learn how to brush your teeth. Step one, brush the outside of each tooth. Place the toothbrush at an angle along the outer gum line. Then start brushing with a gentle wiggling motion back and forth on each tooth. By brushing this way, you can remove that harmful plaque. As you brush, slowly work your way around your mouth, making sure to brush each tooth thoroughly as you go. You're doing great so far! Step 2. Brush the inside of each tooth with that gentle wiggling motion. Step 3. Brush the chewing surface of each tooth. Make sure you brush both the top and bottom teeth and don't forget the ones all the way in the back. Step four, use the tip of the toothbrush to brush behind each front tooth on both the top and bottom teeth. And step five is to brush your tongue. Brushing your tongue helps keep your breath smelling clean and fresh. Great job again. You're really becoming a brushing pro. Thanks, I have a good teacher. Brushing isn't the only thing you can do to keep your smile bright. You should also have your mom or dad help you floss your teeth. Flossing is important because it helps you remove the plaque that hides in the hard-to-reach places between your teeth. These are places that your toothbrush can't always get to. And you should also limit the number of times you eat snacks each day. Every time you eat a snack, plaque attacks your teeth. Oh no, not another plaque attack. That means the more times you eat snacks, the more chances you give plaque to harm your teeth. And we don't want to do that. So limit the number of times you snack and brush your teeth after snacking whenever you can. I will, Dr. Rabbit. And finally, make sure you visit the dentist regularly. Your dental professional is your partner in oral health and helps you take proper care of your teeth. You did a great job tonight. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Dr. Rabbit. I learned so much about how to keep my teeth clean and my smile bright and the importance of brushing every night. <laughs> That's right. And what should you do right after you eat breakfast tomorrow morning? Brush my teeth. <laughs> you got it. But for now, it's time to get some sleep. Follow these simple steps and you too can be on your way to a bright, healthy smile.